Yes, this is the Eastern Hats 2008, and these are highlights from the In Pit Lane podcast number 36. And remember, if you'd like to see more from the 2008 Eastern Hats, including uh, an interview with uh, John Davison, promoter of the Eastern Hats, plus a couple of the very cool cars from the show and shine, check out the In Pit Lane podcast at uh, wherever you get your podcasts from uh, iTunes, Miro, from Video Bomb, anywhere where good podcasts happen to be. Now for the burnout competition, the very cool blue uh, HQ hold back there, Rob's own sports car. And there you can see a big, big crowd at Sandown International Motor Raceway about uh, 25 minutes southeast of Melbourne, right in the heart of uh, one of the most populated areas of Melbourne. And uh, don't you think that the locals were absolutely delighted with the smoke pouring off the tyres of these things over two days? But nonetheless, a big crowd. This is one of the Commodores. They're pretty much all Commodores. Not sure what's happened to the Fords, but uh, just check this out. Here's another Commodore, a uh, much later model, one of the uh, one of the current shapes. A bit quieter, but still plenty of power, plenty of smoke coming off those tyres. And the Eastern Hats over the last few years has become one of the big events in Melbourne. About 35,000 over the course of the two days. There you can hear the hooter go. Each of the cars were given one minute this year, but uh, a lot of them chose to ignore it and just uh, did their best to keep it going for as long as humanly possible. And listen to the tyre shredding going on there. This is a very tough car. Another early model car. And there goes the tyre right on the one minute mark. A very early model Commodore here. Throws that around, really threw this car around in this, uh, in this old Commodore. As I said, I'm not sure what happened to all the Falcons and all the Fords. There were some out there, it's just at this particular time, we didn't see any. It was just Commodore after Commodore after Commodore. And here's a bit of classic Aussie muscle from the early 1970s. Six-cylinder Tirana GTR XU1. When this thing came up to the line, there were lots of hoots from the crowd. Lots of the V8 freaks were looking on and uh, really sort of getting stuck into this car. But they, uh, they soon changed their tune when they saw this. A 3.3 litre 202 straight six in the Tirana GTR XU1 car that won Bathurst a number of times. And just look at the rubber that thing's laying down. Ever the showman, what a great, uh, what a great burnout there. This is one of the cars. This is uh, the PWR Commodore Ute Paul Wheel Racing. 
with the four-wheel radiators. They're the people who build the radiators for a lot of the top V8 supercars. Four-wheel, of course, himself, a former V8 supercar racer and uh, still competes at Bathurst. So that's the 2008 burnout competition from the Eastern Hats at Sandown International Raceway. Hope you'll check out more of the action on the In Pit Lane podcast, available at Apple iTunes, at Miro Video Bomb, or wherever you can get your uh, subscribe to your podcast. Also, if you're in Melbourne, Australia, remember In Pit Lane live every Tuesday night, 9.30 on C31. Free to air right across Melbourne. But until then, I'm Brett Ramsey saying thanks for joining us. Hope you've enjoyed it. Bye for now. Mm-hmm.